with the three dots, you can do even more within Seesaw. There are a number of shapes and backgrounds that can be added to the Seesaw Canvas to take learning to another level. Let's check out how students and teachers are using this tool. When you tap on the three dots, you can do even more creating in Seesaw. Use the shapes and background tools to create templates directly in the Seesaw Canvas. Teachers use these tools to create choice boards, include graphic organizers, or insert collages to design scaffolded and organized Seesaw activities that are easy for students to follow. Maybe your students are comparing and contrasting two characters from a story. Build a Venn diagram in your activity template by tapping the three dots on the left and select shapes. Tap and add a circle to your canvas to begin building. Use the Move tool to reposition your shape. Drag the corners of the circle to resize, tap on the three dots to format, and even change the color by selecting it from the color bar on the right. Once you have the first circle the way you like it, simply tap the three dots, select Duplicate, and use the Move tool to finish creating your graphic organizer. Once complete, tap on the three dots again to lock your template in place. Remember, you can use all the other Seesaw tools to include any information in your template. Use the Label tool to add a title and labels to each part of your Venn diagram. Utilizing backgrounds is another way to enhance your Seesaw activity. Tap on the three dots to add a fun and engaging color background or choose from one of the pre-made templates. Select the graphing paper and create an activity to have your students find the perimeter of a shape. Use the dot paper as a template for a digital geo board. Choose the line paper background to model handwriting. There's even a manuscript paper template that students can use to practice writing music. Students also have access to the three dots and love using this tool to show what they know. Teaching a unit on geometry, no need to prep buckets of manipulatives. Have students tap on the three dots to grab shapes so they can identify the number of sides, corners, or other qualities of the shapes. Students can also use the shapes tool to build composite shapes, construct tessellations, or simply have fun creating. Practicing place value? Students can tap on the shapes tool to grab place value blocks that represent ones, tens, and hundreds. Students can use the place value blocks to build a specific number, model adding or subtracting big numbers, and more. Imagine all the time you'll save prepping materials. Pro tip, teachers can add these shapes to the canvas of any activity ahead of time so students have a set number of materials on their screen. The three dots allow students and teachers to organize, create, and scaffold their learning in Seesaw. Your challenge this week is to plan one way you and your students will use the three dots. Share the creativity you capture on Twitter using the hashtag SeesawMeAMinute.